Sometimes we wake up in the morning and we are ready to go. You wake up, you feel great, you say, hey, today I'm going to go do some mathematics. You know, today I'm going to study some physics. I'm going to finish that computer program that I've been working on. Whatever it is you're working on in your life, whether it be math, physics, running, playing a musical instrument, it doesn't matter. Sometimes, some days are better than others. We have more motivation. This video is not about the days where you have motivation because those are the best days. If, if you wake up today or if you wake up tomorrow and, and you want to work on mathematics, you should work on mathematics because those are the best days. You know, if, if you're motivated to do something, you should do it. You shouldn't wait. Don't, don't waste your energy overthinking it. Don't waste your energy trying to pick books. Don't waste your energy deciding what course to buy on the internet, what video to watch. Just do it. That is a super important lesson in life that I think will take you very far. In fact, if you ignore all the other advice in this video and you just take this one piece of information with you away, it's worth it. It's made this video worth your time. Whenever you feel motivated to do something positive, again, mathematics, physics, whatever it is you're trying to do, do it. Embrace that energy. And the reason it matters so much is because when we're motivated, oftentimes that's when we naturally perform best as human beings. You know, if, if you want to do calculus today and you sit down and do calculus, you're going to do calculus. And chances are you're going to do several problems. You're going to do more than just one problem. And mentally, you're already going into it with a very positive mentality. You know, that's why motivation is so great, right? Because when you're motivated, you perform. That's the whole definition of motivation. It makes you feel good and it gets you to act, right? That's why motivation is so key. So if, if you have it, if you have it, and I know you don't always have it, but on the days you have it, you should embrace it. And again, don't, don't let anyone take your energy on those days. You know, if, if you feel motivated to do math, shut out all the noise. Block out all the noise. Turn off your computer. Turn off your phone. Grab a book. Don't overthink it. Just pick a book. Sit down and start doing some mathematics right away. And you're going to find that those are your best, most productive sessions. I found this to be true with mathematics, with, with making videos, with everything, right? I, I've noticed in my life that my best productive sessions, my best math sessions are the ones on the days where I'm motivated. And, that, and that's common sense. If you think about it, it should make sense to you. You work best when you're motivated. But this video is not about working best when you're motivated. It's working the best you can when you're not motivated. You know, let's say you get up in the morning and, and you have your coffee, right? And you have your breakfast or whatever, and it's Saturday. You don't have to go to work. So you can do whatever. You can say, hey, I'm going to do some mathematics today, and you're motivated. That's good. You might be motivated. But then you wake up the next day, and it's Sunday, and again, you don't have to go to work. You don't have to go to school. And you told yourself you would study during the weekend. You're going to spend this weekend doing at least one hour of math every day. But now Sunday comes, and you wake up, you're like, nah, I'll just do it tomorrow. Nah, forget that. Forget what that guy on YouTube said. I'm not motivated today, so I'm not going to work. That's not good. You need to be able to work when you're not motivated. So, so what can you do? What can you do to find that motivation? What can you do to get yourself to act when you're least motivated? Well, one thing you can do, which I think is really important, and this, and this takes a while because it's different for everyone, it's to find your reasons. What are your reasons? What is the reason you want to you know, learn a musical instrument? What is the reason you want to learn calculus? What is the reason you want to learn physics? Find your reasons. For most of the people watching this video, not everyone because we have a lot of self-learners here in this community, but many of you are in high school or in college, and so already you have a reason. Whether or not it's a big reason to you or not is another story. But if you're in college, if you're taking a class right now, if you're taking an algebra class, this is the only time in your life that you're going to be in that algebra class. So make it count, right? Make it count. In 30 years, you're not going to be in that class. Chances are in 30 years, you won't be in school. Your life will be somewhere else. You don't want to look back on this moment and say, I wasted my life. I didn't do anything. I should have done better. You don't want to have regrets in your life. So find your reason, whether it's getting a degree so you can get a better job, whether it's just learning for the sake of learning. Maybe, maybe you feel that you're already having that regret. 
maybe, maybe you're 60 years old. I know there's a lot of people who are a little bit older who watch this channel. And maybe you're thinking back to where, you know, I should have done better. I should have studied math. Now is your chance to make up for it. Don't have any more regrets, right? Time, time is running out. It's passing right now. Don't have regrets. So you basically just have to find your reasons. So let's say you find your reason. Let's, let's just say your reason is you want to get a college degree because you want to get a job. Let's say that's, that's really what matters to you. You want to get a job so you can make some money and have a better life because I think that's a very realistic approach. And, and I know that there's a lot of negativity towards uh, education and college degrees. I know there's a lot of that right now. And that's okay. And that's because people always say there's no guarantees. And they're right. There's no guarantees in life. But if you don't try, you've already failed. So let's say that's your reason. Your reason is to get a college degree. So next weekend rolls around. It's Saturday morning. You get up again. You're motivated. You work. Sunday rolls around again. I don't have motivation. Ah, oh, I've got my reason. I, need, I, I found my reason. Oh, but wait, my reason is not strong enough. And you still don't want to work. So what do you do when you're not motivated and your reasons are not strong? Well, that's when you need to start learning how to build discipline. Discipline is the ability to work when you're least motivated. The ability to take action when you don't want to. The ability to mentally force yourself to do something that you don't want to do. You have to go to that uncomfortable place to build discipline. And that's why it's so hard. When people think of the word discipline, they think, oh, discipline, that's, that's really hard. It's because it is hard. I, I've made plenty of videos where I talk about how it's really important to do math every day and if you do math for 30 minutes a day or 60 minutes a day it's gonna make you a lot better and this is true it's going to make you a lot better but the truth is human beings are not wired that way we're not we're not wired naturally to get up every day and work for 30 minutes on the same thing every day that's like a robot right we're human we have days when we're highly motivated and you should embrace those days and we have days when we just want to like chill out and watch Netflix and play video games or whatever eat pizza just do nothing, right? That's normal. Discipline is the ability to fight that natural instinct and do a little bit every day. So one strategy I have for you to build discipline is to tell yourself you're gonna do at least one problem. So if you're trying to learn, let's just say calculus, tell yourself you're going to do at least one calculus problem a day. The key word here is at least, because if you tell yourself you're going to do one problem on those days where you're not motivated, then you're going in there with a fatalistic mentality. You're, you're already going in there with the I failed mentality. I'm only going to do one problem. You want to do at least one problem. That tells you your mind that once you do one problem, you have the opportunity to do more. Chances are on those days when you feel terrible, when you are not motivated, when your reasons are failing, you should be able to do more than one problem. There, there might come a day when you do one problem. There might come a day, but I bet you, you'll probably do a couple on those days when you're burnt out. And you can look back on the rest of your day. As your day passes, you can look back on that moment and you can say, hey, I did some math. I feel good. It's going to make you feel amazing because you can look back on that moment and say, I worked hard when I was least motivated. I maintained my discipline. And that's how you get stronger. And that's how you can do anything. Build that discipline. Before I end this video, let me just say, I do have an Instagram. It's The Real Math Sorcerer. Check it out. I also sell courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They are Udemy courses, and I have uh, most of the courses are basic math, algebra, calculus, trigonometry, etc. I do have some proof writing stuff and some advanced calculus and abstract algebra and a little bit of set theory as well. So check them out if you're interested in buying courses. But more important than the courses, more important than Instagram, more important than all of that, is take the lessons away from this video. Work hard when you're motivated. Find your reasons. And the holy grail of it all is to build discipline, the ability to work every day, even if just a little bit. And the hardest days will be the days when you're not motivated, the days when your reasons fail. On those days, you have to push hard. You have to embrace it. And I know you can do it. If you have any comments for people who are watching this video, any advice, for people, any interesting stories, any experiences you've had learning mathematics, any struggles, anything that can help people here on the channel, leave a comment below. I hope it's been helpful. 